we have a capacitor which has two semicircular plates and inside there is a dielectric which can be rotated like this so at a moment when the dielectric is at an angle phi we need to find what is the torque on this dielectric so our approach is going to be similar to how we found the force on the dielectric so here instead of force we have to find torque but previously we did uh, change in potential energy by dx so du by dx we equated to force this time we will do du by d theta and that we will equate to torque because previously f dx was du change in energy was f dx this time in this case tau d theta is du so torque will be du by d theta so we are going to write our potential energy in terms of theta okay in this case phi and then differentiate it with respect to phi to see what is the torque so the voltage v is connected so we are going to use the equation of half cv square where c is the c equivalent of the part which is inside and the part which is empty without the dielectric so c equivalent is ca plus cb and for the a region the it's going to be a epsilon epsilon not by d and a will be angle subtended by this arc which is pi minus theta phi by total angle 2 pi into pi r square into epsilon epsilon not by d and for the empty part the capacitance will be so again angle divided by total angle into pi r square into epsilon not by d so this gives our c equivalent in terms of phi so now we are going to do du by d phi which will be torque so we'll put that in half and v square are constant inside we'll be left with dc equivalent by d phi and we'll get our answer and surprisingly it's independent of phi just like in the case of a dielectric when we were inserting in a parallel plate capacitor that force was also independent of x and here this torque is also independent of phi yeah